Hello viewers, welcome to Ben Hello in Hub. So today we'll be looking at how to convert and save web pages and HTML files to PDF files without coding. So on your screen, these are the things required. Your Android or your iOS smartphone, any browser of your choice, be it Chrome, a Firefox or an Opera Mini, although in this tutorial we'll be making use of a Chrome. An active internet connection as well as the web page or HTML file now either the HTML file is saved as a as an HTML file on your phone memory or you are accessing it from the internet it's all the same thing so the first thing you need is to go on and put on your data as you can see here my data is on then secondly you head to your browser and just like I said we'll be making use of Chrome now on my Chrome uh, permit me to make use of this page. Let me enter this page. Now, to my Chrome. On my Chrome, top right part of the screen. So you tap on it. After tapping on it, you look for your share option, which is this. Now, under your share option, you see so many options. Like here now, you can see whatsapp message chat you can even click here for more so in case so you see you can see different option but the option that is specific or the option you are going to pick is this your print option now once you click on print option it's going to bring you to this place save as pdf so you allow it to load nice preparing the preview so you can see after loading for a while it brought out the page for me so you can see all the pages which are available on that particular web page so now there are some options here we can play around with for instance the first one this place have to be at save as PDF option. Now the next option is this one. You tap here, then you go to paper. Instead of letter, you pick ISO A4 because that's the standard size of your book. So your layout should be portrait, except in situations where you want the content to be in landscape. But in this case, I prefer to be as portrait. So you can see that here is showing you the number of pages. Are you getting me? So now let's go back. If you check now, you find out that our page 9, 9 is not containing any useful. So you can exclude it in two ways. Either you exclude it from here. As you can see, at the bottom right is showing minus. That's to say, if I'm printing this one as a PDF, this last page will not be included either you use this option or you come to this other option then you go to pages you go to range of nine now you enter the range since nine will not be included i'll just enter one dash eight now let's check you can see I only have from one page one to page eight here so once I'm done and I'm okay, the next thing is to tap this my button to convert it to PDF. So after tapping on the button, it's going to take you to your download folder. And from there, you can decide to pick any of your folder. Let's say... Let me pick the root of my phone. So the next thing is, is you find the name, the proposed name it gives. So depending on what you like, if you prefer to use the proposed name, you can go ahead and make use of it. And if you prefer your own name, you can as well rename it. So of course, I think I'm okay with the SVELT native plus React native. So what I'll do, I'll just cancel out these other excesses. And then I'll go ahead and press my save. So 
so it has saved already as a PDF file. Now I'll head to my file manager. Now always remember where you save the location of your storage where you saved it. This is where I saved mine, so you can see it here. SVLT native as React native. So I'll tap on it to open. So you can see, and I now have my normal web page as a PDF file. So thank you for watching. Have a great time. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also share. Thank you.